Problem 5.50 or 6.44 for the given textbooks. For details, please see the description below. Helium is to be compressed from 105 kilopascals and 295 Kelvin to 700 kilopascals and 460 Kelvin. A heat loss of 15 kilojoules per kilogram of course during this compression process. Neglecting the kinetic energy changes, determine the power input required for a mass flow rate of 60 kilograms per minute. To start the problem, we're going to do a balance of energy. We're going to do it in terms of rate of energy change. So we have E dot in minus E dot out is equal to the change of E dot in the system. Since this is an steady uh, problem, this quantity is equal to zero. Please note that we're going to use one for the inlet and two for the outlet. And the amount of um, energy in, uh, the rate of energy in is equal to the rate of energy leaving. The amount of energy going in is going to be the mass flow rate times enthalpy kinetic energy entering and potential energy entering. In this case, we're going to neglect kinetic energy as well as potential energy since there is not a high distance between the entrance and the exit. We also have an amount of power going into the system provided by the shaft. And then we're going to have the amount of um, energy, the rate of energy living is going to be equal to Q dot out plus the mass flow rate times the enthalpy at the exit. What we're looking for is the power going in. So the power going in is simply going to be equal to Q dot out plus the mass flow rate and the change of enthalpy. Since helium is an ideal gas, we could approximate that the change of enthalpy is simply going to be the value of Cp times the change in temperature. We also know that the value of Q dot out is equal to the mass flow rate times the amount of heat loss per unit uh, mass. Using this information, we're going to rewrite this equation. We have the work going in is equal to mass flow rate and the heat uh, loss per unit mass plus mass flow rate Cp delta T and then we're going to factor out the mass flow rate and this is equal simply to Q plus Cp delta T and then let's solve this equation the mass flow rate is equal to 60 kilograms per minute and we have that one minute has 60 seconds and then we multiply it by Q. Q is given as 15 kilojoules per kilogram. The value of Cp for helium is given to be 5.1926 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin and then the change in uh, temperature is going to be 460 Kelvin minus 295 Kelvin. Notice that if we cancel the units, Kelvin and Kelvin cancels, then we have kilograms and kilograms cancels. We got minute and minute, and then we're simply left with kilojoules per second, which is a unit of kilowatts. This value, after we multiply it, it gives us 872 kilowatts.